Brothers and sisters, I have a very sobering word here. Um, I want to talk about how much Elohim hates paganism in mixing pagan idolatry worship and trying to attribute it to him. This is another warning for those who are calling themselves by the name of Yeshua, Jesus, who are calling themselves believers, who are choosing to participate in pagan idolatrous practices, claiming that they are giving glory to Elohim. He hates this. He will curse people and punish them for this type of behavior. Let's read Psalm 106. They believed, then believed they his words, and they sang his praise. They soon forgot his works. They waited not for his counsel, but lusted exceedingly in the wilderness and tempted Elohim in the desert. And he gave them their request, but sent leanness into their soul. They envied Moshe also in the camp and Aaron the saint of Yahweh. The earth opened up and swallowed up Dathan and covered the company of Abraham. And a fire was kindled in their company. The flame burned up the wicked. They made a calf in Horeb and worshipped the molten image. Thus they changed their glory into the similitude of an ox that eateth grass. They forgot Elohim their savior, which had done great things in Egypt, wondrous works in the land of Ham, and terrible things by the Red Sea. Therefore he said that he would destroy them, but not Moshe his chosen stood before him in the breach to turn away his wrath, lest he should destroy them. Yea, they despised the pleasant land, they believed not his word. They murmured in their tents, and hearkened not unto the voice of Yahweh. Therefore he lifted up his hand against them to overthrow them in the wilderness, to overthrow their seed among the nations, and to scatter them in the lands. They joined themselves also unto Baal Peor, and ate the sacrifices of the dead. Thus they provoked him to anger with their inventions, and the plague break in upon them. Then stood up Phineas and executed judgment, and so the plague was stayed. And that was counted unto him for righteousness unto all generations forevermore. They angered him also at the waters of the strife, so that it went ill with Moshe for their sakes, because they provoked his spirit, so that he spake unadvisedly with his lips. They did not destroy the nations concerning whom Yahweh commanded them, but they were mingled among the heathen and learned their works, and they served their idols, which were a snare unto them. Yea, they sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto devils, and shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and of their daughters, whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan, and the land was polluted with blood. Thus they were defiled with their own works, and went a-whoring with their own inventions. Therefore was the wrath of Yahweh kindled against his people, insomuch that he abhorred his own inheritance. He gave them into the hand of the heathen, and they that hated them ruled over them. Their enemies also oppressed them, and they were brought into subjection under their hand. Many times did he deliver them, but they provoked him with their counsel, and were brought low for their iniquity. Nevertheless, he regarded their affliction when he heard their cry, and he remembered for them, he remembered for them his covenant, and repented according to the multitude of his mercies. And I'm going to read to you Exodus 32. Exodus 32 shows that they were not making the molten calf to worship the calf. They were making the molten calf to have a feast unto Elohim, unto Yahweh. They were just trying to worship him in their own way. Let me, so here, you see this in starting in verse 1. And when the people saw that Moses delayed to come down out of the mount, the people gathered themselves together unto Aaron and said unto them, up, make us gods which shall go before us. For as this Moses, the man that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we wot not what has become of him. And Aaron said unto them, Break off the golden earrings which are in the ears of your wives, and of your sons, and of your daughters, and bring them unto me. And this is Aaron. This is the person who was with Moses when the people were delivered. This is his own brother. And he's instructing them to melt this gold into the calf. And all the people break off their golden earrings which were in their ears, and brought them unto Aaron. And he received them at their hand, and fashioned it with a graving tool. After he had made it a molten calf, they said, These be thy gods, O Israel, which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. And when Aaron saw it, he built an altar before it. And Aaron made a proclamation and said, Tomorrow is a feast to Yahweh. And they rose up early on the morrow and offered burnt offerings and brought peace offerings. And the people sat down to eat and to drink and rose up to play. What did Yahweh say? And Yahweh said unto Moses, Go, get thee down. For thy people which thou broughtest out of the land of Egypt have corrupted themselves. They have turned aside quickly out of the way which I commanded them. They have made them a molten calf and have worshipped it, and they have sacrificed there unto it and said, These be thy gods, O Israel, which have brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. And Yahweh said unto Moses, I have seen this people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. Now therefore let me alone, that my wrath may wax hot against them, and that I may consume them, and I will make of thee a great nation. So as you can see here, the people were wanting to go back to their pagan idolatry that they knew. But Aaron tried to turn it into something that was going to be honoring Elohim. He said, tomorrow we'll have a feast to Yahweh. And he was trying to turn this pagan molten calf into some sort of memorial for 
the true Elohim. This is an abomination to our Elohim. We cannot take pagan practices and turn them into something that we think Elohim is going to like. Again, if you are celebrating Christmas, it is pagan, wicked, and evil. It is an idolatrous practice, and Elohim hates it. He will send curses upon people who participate in this because it is disobedience. This is another warning. I know that this day is tomorrow, and a lot of people say, well, if we're just giving glory to God and we're just honoring Jesus, it's going to be okay. It is not okay. It was never okay with him in the wilderness. We are in the wilderness now. It is not okay with him now. I am pleading with you to hear this warning of Elohim. Do not participate in this wickedness. Do not participate in this idolatry because it'll bring a plague and a curse upon you if you do this knowing the truth. 